All right, guys, Black Adam trailer is out. So you know what we got to do. This is highly anticipated. Let's see what it looks like. Black Adam. What have your powers ever given to you? Nothing but hearty. I was a slave until I died. Then I was reborn a god. My son sacrificed his life to save me. Now, I kneel before no one. Nice. In this world. Ooh. Cool. Nice. Yo, Dr. Fate's looking dope. Heroes don't kill people. Well, I do. Oh, that's sick. That's pretty sick. Oh. My vision has shown me the future. You have two choices. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. Ooh. That's up to you. Sick. Love it. Cool. Okay, guys. All right. I'm in. I'm sold. Hey. Three days after my birthday. All right, guys. I'm with it. I like it. I thought it was really good trailer was executed well and i'm liking dwayne johnson as black adam when he was casted as black adam years ago i was completely for it and i'm completely for it now as well he looks like he has a lot of real passion for this character and for this world inside of the dc universe but also too we do know that any movie that stars dwayne johnson he's probably gonna be more than just an actor he's going to be helping out and get a credit it for producing or maybe even a little bit of directing writing who knows nowadays but he's not solely just acting in these films you know he's got a lot of background say behind the set and i feel like you can already tell that's how important Black Adam is to him. I mean, guys, they've been planning a Black Adam film for nearly 10 years now. He's been part of this project for nearly 10 years. So he obviously has had a lot of say, and I think it's going to show in the movie. Now, whether or not this movie ends up being very, very good, mediocre, whatever it might be, there's one thing I feel like I can already judge by the film is that his performance is going to be very well done. Like I was just saying, I think this performance is very, very important to him. I think DC is very important to Dwayne Johnson as well. So he's going to put his heart into this role and purely that alone makes me excited for the movie. Also, I do want to mention a lot of the VFX work and a lot of the scene transitions and the way their scenes are modeled reminds me of a Zack Snyder film. And I know Dwayne has a lot of respect for Zack Snyder's films. You can also tell within this trailer, they're keeping it very similar to the movement of Superman. The way he uses his super speed, the way he flies, any of his movements so far have just reminded me of Man of Steel or Batman vs. Superman Justice League. Look at Black Adam's costume. It looks like the costumes of Batman and Superman 
in Man of Steel and Batman vs Superman. Michael Wilkinson, the costume designer for Superman and Batman in those films, I'm not sure if he was the costume designer for this movie, but regardless if he was, you can already see they're taking a lot of inspiration from Snyder's films. The superheroes in DC, and more particularly Zack Snyder's DC films, have had a very specific design within the character's costume, and that is what it looks to be on Black Adam's costume, it looks very, very reminiscent to how Zack Snyder would make a costume for a hero. Even though they are very, very short glimpses, I already gotta say, I'm loving what I'm seeing from Pierce Brosnan as Dr. Fate, Aldous Hodge as Hawkman, and I'm not exactly sure who's playing Adam Smasher, but from what we saw of Adam Smasher, just him running down a city, Dope. Not many people know this, but Dr. Fate is one of my favorite DC characters ever made. He's probably within my top 10, like maybe 7 or 8. He's an awesome character, very underutilized in pop culture today, and what I mean by that is mainly the film section of pop culture. Cartoons, comic books, different story, even video games, but when it comes to movies, we've never seen him before. And now getting Dr. Fate in a movie is not only going to be cool, but getting Pierce Brosnan as him? Like, he looks comic accurate, guys. It's just perfect casting. And so far from what we saw, his helmet, the costume, his magical abilities, we literally get like a split second glimpse of it. Not disappointed. By the way, I'm just looking at the cast list right now, and I see here that Jennifer Holland is in the movie. And if anyone doesn't know who that is, she plays Amelia Harcourt in the Suicide Squad film and the Peacemaker show. So already there seems to be a direct connection to a wider connected universe. And I think we already knew Black Adam was going to be part of this DCEU, whatever the DCEU is nowadays. But that's still a good sign that they are connecting some things and keeping things current. At 103 in the trailer, there is a very interesting part between Black Adam and Hawkman, where Hawkman says there's a difference between heroes and villains. Heroes don't kill people. And Black Adam looks at him and says, well, I do. And I think why that's really interesting and why it's going to be important to the movie, I think this is going to be a popular discussion for a little while, and I think it's going to split the fan base. Not in a bad way, just just in a way where we can have discussions about it. Is Black Adam a hero? Is he a villain? Is he an anti-hero? How do we feel about his character moving forward? What are they going to do with his character moving forward? Is he going to be more of a hero presence within the DC universe? Is he going to be more of a villain? Is he going to be both? Black Adam in the comic books is an anti-hero. He does tend to be both, even if sometimes Times he's more evil than he is good. The movie hasn't even come out yet, and I'm already so excited that Dwayne is playing Black Adam that it makes me look forward to who he might encounter with in the future. We all know that he will face Shazam one day, whether it be in a movie in the next two, three years, it's going to happen. And the big one we definitely want to see is Henry Cavill show up as Superman. Is there a possibility that Henry Cavill is showing up near the end of the movie and end credit scene? Are they going to tease something that maybe within the next year or two, we're going to get a project of Superman versus Black Adam? Who really knows what they're going to do there? And if that rumor is true of Henry Cavill coming back to the DCEU to be the focal point of DC, what a better opportunity to start mixing two of the biggest actors in Hollywood today, Henry Cavill and The Rock. Like, come on, this is too good. Overall, I'm very pleased. I like that Black Adam is already playing with boundaries of being good or evil. I mean, he's already pretty ruthless to begin with, so I like that they're playing with that boundary. I also like that he hasn't experienced the modern world. It's been 5,000 years, so as he goes around Kondok, he's also trying to figure out, like, what's all this brand new technology? Who are these people? Like, what is this world? It's going to be a discovery for him because he doesn't know 
what the modern world looks like. Now we have something to look forward to in October because this looks very promising. And if the movie does well, I'm sure we can expect many things. Maybe a Black Adam 2. Maybe even spin-off films for Pierce Brosnan's Doctor Fate. Maybe TV shows for other characters. And if all goes well, as I'm sure it will, because it's Dwayne Johnson's name, everyone's gonna want to see whatever movie he is in. He can make any movie he wants and people will go see it. I'm sure his presence within the DCEU is going to be very important moving forward. You don't have an actor like him in a world like this and not utilize him. Then again, we could say the same thing for Henry Cavill, but I think they're starting to change that now. As of right now, things are looking a little up. But anyways, everyone, it is now your turn to let me know in the comments below what you thought of the trailer, what you think could possibly happen in this movie, what you would want to see happen in this movie, and to let me know what you just simply think of Dwayne Johnson as Black Adam. I think he's awesome, but let me know. But that's all I have for this one, guys, and until next time, I will talk to you all very soon.